So now we just start working our way down the model. And we just did the first deck. Now we'll start on the, the lower decks. And a, a, th these are all fairly quick, uh, similar to the main deck. And we can do them at, at the same time uh, since we're using the contour command. And uh, OK, and let me make the uh, active. Well, we'll leave this one as uh, mesh two, which I think is where our our deck mesh is. Let's move our hull mesh onto that layer as well. That accidentally got created on the hull curves mesh. And let me rename this. Actually, we'll, we'll add a little organization here now, and I'll move mesh two uh, under layer one. Layer one will be called new meshes. And we're going to make separate ones for all. We'll make a new layer for X and another for and we will move that deck mesh onto the decks layer. And since we're going to make the, the next decks in here, we can turn off the hull and we'll make decks the, the current layer. So any curves or uh, meshes that we create will be created on that layer. And we can use the contour command on all of these decks at the same time. We're going to use the, the exact same spacing that we had uh, on the main deck so that we have you know, sort of vertical continuity there. Um, contour from 0, 0, and along the x-axis in an increment of 1. And while these are all still selected, we can right click and issue the contour command again. And again, we'll use 0, 0. We'll go transversely to intersect all of these curves. And again, use an increment of 1. And now we have almost all of the points that we need for our decks. <laughs> so they're going relatively quickly, uh, similar to the main deck up there. Now, the next thing we'd want to do is get rid of any points that are already very close to the, the deck edge, which we did the last time. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to turn off the, the surfaces there. And this is where the um, grouping can come in very handy. Now, it'd be very difficult to throw away points and things looking through multiple layers of points and everything. So what I like to do is uh, I'll tend to group things that I want to hide so that it's easier to select them when you want to unhide them later. Uh, so I will use the, under the standard menu, use the, the group button to group those points for the lower decks and then hide them. Uh, likewise, we can hide the main deck because we're done with it for now. Uh, so that we're just looking at the second deck and I'll turn the surfaces back on. And let's make a copy of this deck for our use. Uh, or we could just as easily copy the perimeter curve if we wanted. Uh, we could use that uh, curve from object duplicate edge and select the outer edge of the deck. So let's do that instead. And then we don't have to make a copy of the surface. We'll just have a copy of that curve that tells us where the end of the surface is. And some of these points that are close to the end we'd want to get rid of. That one would probably be okay. It would just be a triangle at the end here. Uh, this one we'll get rid of so that we don't wind up with a, you know, a small triangle that kind of points back in towards the hull. That way this one will go out. Now, eventually when we create the deck traces on here, any beams that were coming up and getting close to the sideshow would probably terminate at a frame. And we'll look at that a little later, you know, where we want to edit those curves after they get extracted. And I'm just sort of arbitrarily deleting enough points to leave a, enough of a gap between the side shell and, and the, the points that would be on a, a stiffener trace. And that's, that's if the stiffener is here. Now, if you have your actual structural drawings, you're going to be working to the structural drawings, and you'll know where these stiffeners are, and you'll be following that pattern. But since we don't have that information, we're just looking to make something 
reasonable uh, for purposes of generating a model that we can later load and analyze. So I'm just kind of deleting a few of these. We can leave that one there. Uh, we will also need a point all the way at the bow here. Well, actually, while we're here, I'm going to delete that curve since we've deleted all the points we need. And we can do select curves. And we'll check the direction. And these are all pointed towards the center line. Uh, so we can either reverse the direction with flip all, or we can use the curve point and instead of marking the end, we'll tell it to mark the start. Since they're all pointed in the same direction, it really doesn't matter whether we're marking the. Oh, it was in the middle of the analyze direction command when I issued that, so it didn't mark the start. So now I just selected the curves and we'll say mark the start, and you can see now I have points all along my deck edge. Turn the surfaces back on because we will need a point all the way up at the bow and we can just manually create that one. And again, similar to what we did on the main deck, we'll need a point in this corner back here. I do have end turned on, so it should be able to drop a point there. And I'm gonna grab all the points from the previous row, since we know it's a flat deck, we can use control C control V to cut and paste a second copy of those points and then use that set point command and reset the X value. Since I know it's a flat transom, then we just set them on the, the transom edge there into the deck. We turn off the, the surfaces. And this is another thing I wanted to show you was that when you go to create a, a mesh patch, the way we've been creating these meshes from a collection of points, uh, one thing we need to be careful of is that we only select the points. If there are curves in there, you can also create a mesh patch from curves, but you get a very different resulting mesh. Uh, so you know, here we only have you know, four tries in that mesh, mainly because they were straight lines and it had it used the control points from the lines uh, to generate the nodes on the mesh. Now, had that been a curve, there would be a lot of control points on there and you would wind up with a really odd shaped mesh. So if you, you can either do select points, you could, uh, if we did select all, control A is a quick way of doing that. We could come in here and use a crossing window and you hold down the control key to unselect and use a crossing window to remove all of the lines. So there are a number of different ways you can get the selection set that you want. But when you make these meshes, you do wanna only have the, the, the nodes uh, or the points selected. And we'll go ahead and make that mesh for the deck and convert to all quads. And there are a couple little spots in here where we want, where we want to merge. Actually, maybe just the one. Yeah, just the one where we want to merge. And now we have the next deck. So we can select curves and hit delete and select. And now we just have our mesh. 